So just a little background of why we're practicing these Thursday afternoon asanas. Um, really just giving us a nice chunk of time to spend on a particular yoga pose. And generally the postures that I'm choosing each week are for opening up the body and helping to relax the mind. Um, I do go based on your requests. So a couple weeks ago, uh, Bird of Paradise, which is a bit more of a challenging balancing posture was requested. But today I'm gonna focus on a posture that helps to decompress the spine, uh, restore calm in the nervous system, and just really help create some space in the lower back. Cause I'm noticing a, a pattern in yoga classes recently um, for requests for lower back stretches. So besides opening up the body, how does this tie in with the overall purpose of yoga? Hi there. Get a mat or something, have an open space because we're gonna be sprawling out on the floor for this one. So besides opening up the body, it's helping to release tension that we might carry physically so that we can tune further inward, really get into that space within ourselves that helps us intuitively move throughout the day and align to our purpose in life and our joys and values in life. So the physical poses are one of the eight limbs of yoga. All right, so let's get started here. The pose that we are going to break down today is a deeply restorative spinal twist. And before we do so, because we're gonna hold each side of the posture for, couple minutes or so, let's just warm up the body with some simple movements. So find a comfortable seat, ground evenly through the left and right sides of your pelvis, lift up through the center of your spine, broaden the chest, relax the shoulders, and as you press your hands downward onto your lap, feel a lift out of the pelvis through the lower spine as you firm down to the pelvis. And now just close your eyes a moment and tune into the way your body is breathing. And without acknowledging how you're feeling physically, emotionally. And in this brief 15 minutes of self-care, what would you like to cultivate within yourself? Perhaps it's a quality. And now begin to deepen your breath. Allow the inhale to expand gently into your lungs, downward towards your belly. Exhale slowly through the mouth, sound it out. Again, maybe a slower inhalation, filling up the, the lungs, four walls of your rib cage, all the way down to the pit of the belly. And exhale audibly through your mouth. Continue to deepen the breath, but close your lips. See if you can create a soft whisper as you Gently narrow the back of your throat. We call that ujjayi pranayama or victorious breath. Hey, John, join us here. We're about to come into a nice restorative spinal twist. And as you press your hands onto your lap, just begin to rotate your spine, circling forward as you breathe in, circling back as you breathe out. So before we hold the focus posture for today, we're just gonna gently warm up go in the opposite direction a few circles just connecting to your breath breathing in one half of the circle breathing out the other half and again switch directions so we're just adding some warmth into the pelvic region into the lower spine thanks for saying hello guys so this one is a nice cooling posture for these heated summer days in LA or wherever you might be. One more time, switch directions, take a few more circles of the spine. Feel the balance in your breathing as you exhale to your nose. So mouth is closed, helping to warm up the body through the breath. All right, now come back to center. If you're sitting cross-legged, try switching the cross of the leg that's forward or on top. Just a slight evening out of the hips. Now place your left fingertips on the ground beside your left hip. Raise your right arm. 
Relax the shoulders down, sit up a little taller as you breathe in, and then begin to side bend to your left as you breathe out, just a little bit at a time now. Pause there, root your right sitting bone a little deeper, and lift the spine from the pelvis where you are as you take a deep in breath. Exhale, maybe side bend a little further. Keep relaxing the shoulders away from your neck. Let's take about three more breaths, just exploring your range of this lateral bend of your torso, opening up that right side of lower back, of rib cage. Take one more breath. Now firming your belly towards your back, inhale to rise up, place the right fingertips on the ground beside your right hip and raise your left arm. Relax the shoulders down, sit up a little taller, breathe in. Then exhale, side bend to your right. Inhale, lift the spine as you ground the pelvis. Exhale, side bend a little bit more. Just finding the range of your side bend where you can still evenly lengthen through both sides of your neck, relaxing the shoulders down. You might be crawling the right fingertips further away from you or lowering the elbow. Let's take two more breaths here. Hi everyone, thanks for joining. So if you just popped in, the focus posture for today is a nice deep restorative cooling spinal twist. But we're just doing a little bit of preparation for it. Now inhale to rise up. All right, so come to sit. If you have a yoga mat, that's, that's a good idea, but just have an open enough space where you could probably lie down and sprawl up. That's how much ground space you'll need for this pose. Come to sit. Oh, and I forgot to mention, if you have a yoga block and or a pillow, a nice firm, thick pillow, they might be useful for you as well. But if you don't have them, you can make do too. So if this is the front of your mat, you're gonna turn to face the left side of your mat. So I'm gonna have my back to you for a moment. Extending both legs towards that left side. Now keeping the right leg where it is, slide your left leg towards the rear of your mat. See, so now you have an L shape in your legs. Too bad I don't have an aerial camera here. And then place your two hands towards the front of your mat. And then add a little shift of the pelvis back, the right hip back if you need, or bend the knees if you need so that you can comfortably turn your chest completely to face forward here relaxing the shoulders down, not struggling. There's no strain in the body. Now here's where you might have a pillow right in front of your right hip flush against it. You might have the block nearby as well. From here, lift the chest forward and just lengthen the spine as you breathe in. Now as you exhale, begin to lower your belly onto the pillow. If you don't have one, you can go onto the ground and maybe you start to lower onto your forearms as well. Now this is different from single pigeon pose, which is a hip opener. This is a spinal twist. So you're more sideways in the pelvis, not squaring the hips, and you're turning the chest completely forward. Now we're gonna be here for another, mm, say two minutes. Sometimes I actually practice this pose for five minutes on each side because it is a restorative pose. You wanna feel completely supported to just let go as effortly as possible in it. And in that, in the stages of letting go, you might eventually even lower your, your forehead, maybe on a block, so your nose has space to breathe, or turn your head to face the right side of your mat, so the left ear leans down, adding a spiraling action for your cervical spine into your neck. Or here's another one, if you're feeling really flexible in your spine today and you need to go deeper to feel something happening here, you can add what's called thread the needle, which will help to open up the upper back. And to do so, you crawl your right fingertips towards the upper right corner of your mat or past it, bending the elbow up, and you thread the left arm with a palm face up underneath your right bent elbow so that you rest the left side of your head either on top of a pillow, a block, an object, or onto the ground. So we're gonna be here for about a minute more there's no better or worse position or depth. It's really just feeling into your body what feels good right now, what feels releasing for your spine, which is what we're focusing on, especially the lower back. If you're feeling like, oh my gosh, I can't breathe here, I've gone too far, just back off a little, go one step less. Remembering that you always have options and this is about self-care, not forcing yourself into something that doesn't feel right. So let's take five more deep breaths in the position that you're in. 
Now imagine, maybe close your eyes, that you could breathe in to the base of your spine at your tailbone. And as you inhale, you're expanding more space between each vertebra to your neck. And as you exhale, you help to relax the muscles along your spine, letting your body be heavier as it lies on the pillow or on the ground. So the inhale from tailbone, lengthening up the ladder of each vertebra to your neck. And the exhale helping to dissipate any tension, clenching, clinging, and letting the body just become more heavy and trust the support underneath it. Let's take one more breath here in this restorative spinal twist. Now coming out of it, go really slow. If you're in thread the needle, if you've gone that far, press your hands into the ground and just very slowly begin to lift your head. Ease out of the posture. Really important how mindful we are when we're transitioning into and out of poses as well. Now, as you lift the torso upright, we're gonna leave the pillow and block at the front of the mat Turn to face the back of your mat, straightening both legs towards the rear. So your feet meet and you're sitting up tall in what's called Dandasana, stick pose. Unfortunately, the frame of my camera can't, can't catch my feet, but visualize that and leave your right leg facing the front of your mat and slide your left leg right now to your left side. So actually that's the right edge of your mat if you're facing the front. And then place your two hands at the top of your mat and adjust your legs and pelvis as you might need so that you can truly turn your chest completely to face the front wall of your place. So you might have to bend the knees. You might have to scoot the left hip further towards the rear of your mat. Make any adjustments in your lower body so that your chest feels broad and extending forward. Now take a deep breath. As you exhale, carefully begin to lower the belly onto your pillow or block or the ground if you don't have either one. Breath by breath, just feel it out. Does it feel okay right now to place the forearms on the ground or is my lower back on this side saying, hey, back off, that's too much. So really just having that dialogue with your body as you progress through the depth of any posture is so important so that it's not the ego telling you where you need to be, it's your body and all its intelligence and wisdom. Now, if you're feeling like, ooh, I, I really wanna go deeper here, it, it feels good, then you might go for thread the needle. Thread the needle, crawl your left finger to fingertips towards the upper left corner of your mat, bending the left elbow up off the ground. And then thread your right arm with a palm face up underneath your left bent elbow and rest the right side of your head all the way down. Remember to prop your head up on something like a block or pillow, whatever you have, stacked books, so that you can then let go in the pose. Remember that restorative yoga postures, and I'm not lowering my head so you can hear me talk, but please lower yours <laughs> so that you can relax. Remember that restorative yoga postures are meant to be held for several minutes at a time because sometimes it takes us a while to, to be like, oh yeah, I'm clinging in my jaw or I'm you know, holding on to something I haven't completely relaxed in this position yet. And when we use props like pillows and blocks to support our bodies safely in the alignment of the posture, then we can feel a little more emotionally as well open to, to just ease off and just let the body open up. Then beyond the muscles that you're stretching are the fascia, the deeper layers. So where you are, let's take five more deep breaths. And you might visualize, perhaps with your eyes closed, lifting the breath from the base of your spine between each vertebra to the neck. And as you exhale, helping to release any holding you might detect. So the body, the bones become a little heavier. They sink towards the ground more easily. And there's really a sense of release through the exhalations. If it feels good, take some long sighs through the mouth as you breathe out. Last two breaths here. Now, mindfully, gently begin to press your hands into the ground, slowly lifting your skull, slowly lifting your torso, 
and coming all the way up to sit. So after these deep restorative spinal twists, which if you watch the recording and you can pause it whenever you like and spend longer on each side of the twist, I highly recommend that. So I'm gonna post the recording of this on, in, on our Instagram account as well as the Facebook. So come to sit with your feet together, bend the knees apart, and we'll just end with a nice hip and lower back a space creating posture called bound angle pose or Baddha Konasana. So as you bring the heels close to your pelvis, root down to the sitting bones, you can catch hold of your big toes or your outer feet, and then lift the heart space, broaden the chest, relax the shoulders. Again, my, maybe envision breathing up the center of your spine. And as you exhale, just gently begin to fold from your hips, just a little bit, pause there, from down to the sitting bones, rebound and lift up through the center of the spine as you inhale. And then maybe fold another little bit. Now, if you like, you can place the hands in front of you, helping to catch you here. You can also put a block underneath your forehead or a stack of blocks, a tower. But try to maintain a feeling of a flat back in this position rather than rounding the shoulders and making the breath shallow by closing the chest. Broaden the chest and slightly lift your sternum. It's right between the collarbones. Let's take three more deep breaths. Feel the broadening of space across your lower back. Perhaps visualize breathing into that area. Aligning your mind, your body, and your breath to what you're doing here in the present moment. Now coming out of this position, Take a deep inhale and begin to lift your chest, walk your hands closer to your feet, and slowly rise up. Well, I hope you found some benefit to this afternoon asana, <laughs> and that you'll join me again next Thursday at 4 p.m. on Instagram Live. Remember, if you have a request for a pose that you'd like me to break down and focus on, send it to um, our website, roottoriseyoga.org under community events you'll find a little form there to fill up to fill up um, otherwise you can private message me thanks for joining us everybody have a good afternoon namaste